Hey, Hello. How this... are you today? He's doing well. This is Gordo. We have an appointment with Dr. Skadden today. I see that. Okay. Do you have your insurance cards and driver's license with you today? Oh, perfect. We'll get you right back, Gordo. Have a seat. Gordo, come with me. We'll get down the scale. Gordo, what are we seeing you for today? He has a really sore knee. He hurt it um, just before he made the excursion. Okay, I'm gonna get your temperature. Put this under your tongue. Ninety-eight seven. somehow? Did you, see in one Did you have a bad landing? Okay. You know penguins don't fly. No, but he tried. That would be... That was the problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you came down on the knee. Alright. Are you able to walk on it without a limp? Good. Does it swell up on you at all? Does it hurt more at night or during the daytime? At when night. you're sleeping. Okay. How old are you now, Gordo? He's 18. He was 18 born in years 2000, old. yes. Okay. Do you have a regular doctor that you see? All right. Well, do you want us to be your regular doctor? Wonderful. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Have you ever had any routine blood tests done? Usually at 18 for humans, there's not too many that we do routinely, but for penguins, we can check a couple of routine blood tests just to make sure that your kidneys and your electrolytes and your blood count are doing well, okay? But let me take a look at that leg. Does this hurt here? How about here? That's a little tender right there? Okay. What about if I do this? Or that? How about this? That's very painful. Okay. But if I push backwards like this? All right. All right. You might have just bruised your knee. It's a good sign that you can walk on it, but sometimes some of the ligaments can be affected by it. We'll get an x-ray taken care of of your right knee. and then some routine blood tests just to make sure that everything's okay with everything else, okay? There you are, Gordo. The ladies can help you on the way out the door, okay? He's, he's very friendly. He's, he's a really hugger. Famous. He's a hugger. Yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. We're ready. They're gonna check you out right here. All right, let's see. It looks like you got a script there. Here's some paperwork. This just talks about your visit today. Did you wanna set up another appointment right now or do you wanna call us after your layout tests? Call us, okay, well here you go. All right, have a super day. Bye Gordo. Thank you. Bye, Gordo. You're welcome. Boy, I hope we don't have to wait long. Oh, that was fast. Good morning, Gordo. I'm Angela. I'll be working with you today. Here. Oh, go ahead and have a seat. Your feet are going to go right behind that bar. What I want you to do is kick your feet up like this, straight out. Yep. Oh, hold <laughs> that. And then come back down. Good. Many halibut this morning. And then a little slower. There you go. 
Excellent. How does that feel? Okay. Yeah, it might hurt a little more. So now that his rehabilitation is finished, his program, what future options does he have? He can come back here and he can do a post um, patient um, rehab, we call it, and you would get a discount rate for up to three months. Um, it's $20 a month. Um, and you can come in anytime, use any of the equipment here. Whatever we've been working on, you can use. Um, we're here during the day, so if you have any questions, he can come in, you know, we're here, we can help him with some of the stuff. Um, and then as a community member as well, we have people that come in after hours and can use any of the equipment also. So after your three months are up, then you can come back in at a different rate it is. So that's $25 a month. So you have lots of options, um, whatever works out best for you. Good morning. Dr. Skadden has ordered labs for Gordo and he is a new patient, so we just need to register him so that he can get his labs done. Okay, you can come right around the door. Good morning. How are you? I'll take your order and your insurance and driver's license. I'll put it in the, is your address correct on your driver's license? Um, your birthday is 420-2000. And your address is 123 Maple Street. And your telephone number is 989-977-1212. All right, I just have to scan these in. All right, I'm gonna need two signatures. First one is consent for the lab work. Maybe, is it okay if I sign on his behalf because he doesn't have thumbs? Oh, oh good job, that great. looks nice, great. And one more signature for the notice of privacy, and that comes with a booklet if you'd like it. Would you like the booklet? Right. Here's your cards back, and I'm going to give the paper to Lori. It's going to be back here in two weeks from now. Um, is this walk-in? Do we have to make another appointment? How does that work? Um, this is all walk-in basis, and we have a card here that has our physical therapy hours and time. And then also our lab, our in time, is on there as well. Oh, wonderful. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Gordo. How are you today? Have you had anything to eat or drink? Good job. He did want me to let you know that he just flew in and, quote, boy, are his wings tired. So <laughs> maybe just be gentle with the, um, I'll, with the I drop. I promise I'll be gentle. Okay. We'll use the smallest needle I have. Do you have a preference on which arm? You don't care? Okay. Let's take a look at this one. Got to be a little snug, okay? All right. All right, just a little pick. You're doing a good job, Gordo. Almost done. Okay, hold that nice and tight for me. Let's just get a little wrap on it and you're good to go. Oh, good one. <laughs> you are so funny, Gordon.
Ricardo. The big giant spirit. Drop off. Do you see the drop off? Oh. Hello. Hello. This is Gordo. He was given a prescription by Dr. Scadden that we need to. Okay. Hi, Gordo. We will get this ready for you. Great. Thank you. Mm. For Gordo? Yes. Okay. Um, just take one of those daily with food. Do you have any other questions? What, what is, is that box? What is it? Um, this big green box is for expired medications. So if you have any medications at home that you want to get rid of, you can bring them here. Um, they are prescription medications or over-the-counter or pet medications can go in here, but we can't have any um, thermometers, aerosol cans like inhalers, things like that. Um, no needles, no liquids or lotions, and no hydrogen peroxide. And you don't have to talk to anybody here. You can just come and that's a door that you can open up and drop them in and you can go on your way. What is the point? Why why not just throw your drugs away? Um, we don't want to throw them away because then they can get into the groundwater and the ground. You can, you know, animals, things can get into them, things we don't want. So this way it's just a little safer and then we send them back to the drug take back and they dispose of them properly. Wonderful. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. You too. Good morning. Good morning. We're just here to pay for Gordo's prescription. Okay. The total on that comes to $1,578. I'm sorry, how much? $1,578. Oh. Yeah. Gordo, are you okay? Call 911. Get an AED. Gordo, the ambulance is coming. It's on its way.